So this morning, um, we're looking, we'll do, uh, it's four sets of eight. And what I've just, what I've kind of come up with is we'll do four minutes at 20, at 22, then we'll do uh, four minutes at 24, two minute break. Um, then we'll do 22, 24, 22, 24. That's for the second one. That's a two minute block. Um, then um, we'll do the third block. We'll do 22, 24, 26, and then we'll drop back down to um, to 24. <clears throat> Simply always again, two minute break. And the last one, um, I thought this one could actually work out quite well if we'll do a 22 nice long strokes 24 um 26 and we just finish on a 28 which is one of those always calls of a fly and die <clears throat> but what we'll what we actually do the idea on that last one is just to actually just keep the motor going um nice long strokes nice and easy um without really really pushing hard so we're just looking for um nice good uh, long strokes on that one and that will be it. Okay, everybody. So let's just check my my time at the moment. What do we have? Even though I'm one hour one hour ahead of you guys. So we've got four minutes. So four minutes to um, get yourself some water, some last minute stretching, last minute um, uh, uh, stretching, and and, uh, and setting yourself up. Sorry, I'm just uh, I've just rushed in this morning. So I'm not. My warm up is going to be the um, is going to be uh, the first eight minutes for me. So I'm going to go ahead and just set myself up ready. So um, I've got the uh, the PM5. Um, I've also got the um, the app, the Erg app, which I quite like actually. Um, it's, it's that, so I use that all the time. I get it from the Concept2 website. So I'm just going to program in, um, I'm going to program in the, my four times eight minutes. So I'm going to go down to let's have a look. Let's change this. Create new workout. It's a bit slow. Okay, right. So I'm going for um, I'm going for go for constant intervals of time, eight minutes. Eight minutes of work and two minutes of rest. Okay, perfect. Okay, just, just worry about the time. So we've got three minutes. Um, again, in this in this one, um, the very first, the very first um uh two minutes off the first block i i tend to just myself in i'll probably go off at a 23 24 after after about 15 or 20 seconds and then i'll settle down into my 22 um by the time i get to the second tw two minutes i'm literally my mind i'm just thinking i'm not looking at my my time i'm just looking at my technique i'm looking at how i'm feeling comfortable trying to lay out, you know, lay out the foundation of uh, for the next block or two, because we're going to go back down to 22. So at that 24, I'm looking to just have nice rhythm, nice flow, keep myself nice and flexible. Um, and then when it drops back down to 22, I shouldn't be coming, you know, I should be able to maintain the actual, the same pace. I'm working in watts today, um, but your medium pace, you try, you know, maybe just the one second off that, but you should be, you should be able to sustain that. And then the last, two, the last uh, two minutes off the um, eight minutes for the first block is literally I'm back up to 24, and I shouldn't really feel a difference. If anything, I could should, I should be able to take a second off that block. So again, it's really a technique. I'll make the calls as I'm going along. So we've got one minute to go. I'll make the calls. I'll. I'll try and get, I'll try and actually um, you know, speak and give some encouragement calls. Um, they'll be mainly about um, at the catch. We're looking to come back really quickly off the catch. Um, most of us tend to actually try to uh, push more off, and it's actually just about like hitting a wall and coming straight back. Okay, so we're ready to go in less than a minute. I think I'll just have my last cup of tea. Funny story about that tea. Um, 
because I live here in Rome, getting PG tips isn't very quite easy over here. So I had to get it uh, shipped over by somebody. OK, so we're a bit, a bit we're about nearly ready to go. I'm just going to come back on now slowly so that the clock doesn't go off. So again, this is 22, 24, 22, 24. OK, so you see that we're all ready. Ready to go and ready. One, two, three, and go. So I've gone off at a 24, but now I'm now dropping into my 22 and bang on 22 now. So again, this one is really just once I'm getting to the catch, making sure it's straight arms, straight as I come in. Arm straight back out. It's nice long, long strides. Now I'm hitting it. Just dropped off to 21 there, right back onto 22. So I'm really am just should be nice and easy. No energy here. This is all just technique. So I'm getting up on my toes. Head up straight. And I'm trying not to lean back too much. It was one of my biggest problems. Here we go. Now I'm really am settled in. I can see my time. I can see my watts and I'm quite happy about that at the moment. And at this point, now I'm just to start to settle into my breathing as well. Everybody's got their own ways, but the most important thing is, is pushing the air out. The body's quite good in actually taking in the amount of air it needs. Right, ready for a change? One, and go, up to 24. There we go. Took me a bit of a while to get to that 24 then. I think that's just because I haven't warmed up quite well. So let's keep it at that 24. Nice long strike arms. Now this, at this block here, 24, what I'm working on, is my turnaround. I'm looking to try and get straight in and straight back out again. Nice long straight arms at the catch all the way back, keeping the back nice and straight, sit up tall. Yeah, and that catch, I just did a little test myself, not to just, I just hung there at the catch and I could see that my strokes per minute changed. So I really am concentrating that quick turnaround. My heels are coming up slightly and as soon as they come up, I'm looking to push them straight back down. Okay, so we've got around about 10 seconds now before we drop down to 22. What we're gonna do, ready? And go, drop down. So just keep the power on, but slow on the re-entry. Hold down people, hold down. I'm starting to feel warmed up now.
So now at this point, I am concentrating on my breathing a lot more now. And I'm trying to think about, my, again, keeping the straight arms. Is it coming in? It's great. I'm feeling really am relaxed at this moment. I'm up on my toes for the catch. Straight back. Now, usually what I'm thinking now is, is that how I'm feeling? What's my technique like? Because what I want to do is carry that on for the last two minutes. We've got 30 seconds before we jump back up to 24. So now I'm getting that drive. So it's 15 seconds before the next change. So now I'm concentrating on my technique. Straight arms, straight back on the legs. Three, two, one. Let's jump up to 24. Wow, that's incredible. First stroke. So what you want you to think now is that it's just two minutes a pure good quality stroke. Making a mental note how I'm feeling now. And just trying to maintain whatever what if you're working on, whatever pace you're working on. The idea here, I want you to maintain it. Yeah, at the moment now I'm really concentrating on breathing. Okay, so one minute left. What you want you to do here is that those arms, just concentrating those arms. So driving from the hips, being slightly back, like 11 o'clock. You should be able to hear my machine. Wearing up. What I'd like you to do now is just drive those long drives for 30 seconds and go. Let's keep it going. 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and down. Well, right. So what I'm going to take away from that, and this is what we should all be doing, is that I've, I'm thinking about everything that I've done in that, how I felt. If I was, my knees were breaking before, I was going back into the attack position. There's a couple of things there I wasn't kind of happy with. And that gives me now time to work back on. I know I did switch it around. I switched it around the last, at the last moment. You'll see why now. We'll go back to what is the first four minutes at 22. And four minutes at, at 24. And what this is going to do, we should be looking at consistency now. Because before where we had, we was jumping up and, up and down in two minute blocks. This time we're going to get four minutes of full consistency. Or four minutes at another level at 24. We're just looking for consistency. So at this point, I usually just keep rowing through. I'm not really putting any, any pressure here during this rest period because like, I'm just thinking about my technique. So 30 seconds, those that's taken a water, 
gone for stretching. Let's start looking to get back onto the erg now. 20 seconds to go. So again, I'll probably go off just at a slightly higher rate and then settle back in at 22. I'm looking for good four minutes. That's solid. Ready, go. There we go. In fact, now, I'm actually feeling really, really relaxed. I'm happy with my, my pace, the watts that I'm working in. And that 30 seconds that's just gone past, I feel really good. So what I'm gonna think now is how my weight distribution is from the attack, from the, going into the attack, I want to have the full area of my of my foot bottoms of my feet on the foot plate, and that's where getting the actual heels back down as quickly as possible is my first concentration. They should be listening. Listen. I'm just listening to the machine. And I'm just trying to keep, again, my back straight and a quick turnaround. That's all I'm thinking about now at the moment. Go straight in, straight out. Straight in, straight out. Oops. So four seconds for the, for the second part of this 22. Make a note and just keep sticking it there. Stick it right there, maintain it. I mean, ideally is that my heels really wouldn't come up because I want to get the full amount of area in my, into my foot and the foot plate to push me away, but I don't have that longer arms. So my heels are coming up slightly. So we're now fully warmed up. And again, it's a mindset thing now. We've just done five minutes. So just done three minutes, five minutes left. And I can feel, I've just crept up there to 23 and just drop me back down again. So now I really am settled in. And all I'm trying to think about is my technique here. Nice long strokes. And I'm looking at the next, next block, which is at 24. I'm looking to have a nice big long drive. And then that will just get me straight up to 24. So here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, head up, 24. Wow, straight on it. So again, I really am now working with my, my thighs. I'm just getting that big drive off. My rest is when I go back in, ready for the next pack.
Well done, guys. So now, this is when the breathing starting to kick in. <laughs> and it's all about using energy correctly. Again, everything's off the drive. My hands are literally just hanging on to be pushed as I'm pushing back. I'm avoiding pulling at the front. I'm letting my, my thighs do that. And now I'm just going to work on for this next 30 seconds the rock over here. And strange enough, as I'm thinking about more of the rock over, concentrating there, my pace is leveled out. I'm not jumping around at all. Here we go. Still at 24. Right. So what I want you to do now, this last two minutes, is now start thinking about the push, get nice length on it. Well done. There's some great work there, crew. So we're coming up to one minute left of this second block. All right, one minute, I just want you to push off. Nice long strokes. This is one of those areas where we tend to like want to empty out the tank. I do, but I usually like to make sure that my technique is right. 30 seconds to go. Let's drive it all the way home, guys. Got a nice two minute rest after this one. Ten seconds left. And down. Well done. Well done, guys. It's just half, let's put this halfway. So points that I'm just gonna mull over. The first block, where it was going up to 22, 24, 22, 24, I struggled to find my pace because this is part of warm up. Stretching, warm up is so important. But I found my I found myself settled in. Wasn't 100 percent uh happy with the technique i felt i was leaning back a bit especially in the second set i was leaning back too much um i think that's just trying to talk think and row at the same time um but but when i got through onto the second on the second block the second four minutes i really did find myself i wasn't really trying to pull anywhere i was keeping the technique right but I did notice that I was leaning back too much. So that's my point now for my, for the third set. So whatever you're thinking, have a think about what you felt you could have done better. Key points to me are quick turnaround here. So I get to here, I'm straight back. Keeping the arms straight bringing it right back in, elbows going straight back, you're pulling it in. 
And the most other important part, which I do myself, and I'm sure a lot of us do, um, is that as we tend to get tired, we do this. We start to reach out, we start to curve our backs. My, for this next set, which is 22, 24, 26, 24. Ready to go. Three, two, one, and go. Off at 22. So here we do want to make sure that we're kind of conserving ourselves with the right stroke. You should be able to remember what you was doing on the first block first 22, we should definitely be, your, your medium pace should be a lot better than it was in the first block. So the thing here is, is that, again, I'm actually thinking about the things I spoke about beforehand. It's about this, keeping the back straight, and a quick turnaround at the front. And the one other thing, I don't keep throwing these, these are things that are just going through my head, is that at the backstop, when my arms come away, I'm making sure I'm rocking over, my arms are coming out straight, before my knees bend. There you go. And all of a sudden, those few little things I've thought about, I can see my time, my average watt has settled in. Ready? So we're going to go up to 24 now. Again, it should be feeling lighter. And go. I'll, just, I'll keep quiet for just this 30 seconds. We're usually looking at your time, looking at your stroke in front of the mirror. There you go, feeling really good now. Now, of course, this is our third set and there's gonna be fatigue. Some of us may actually be starting to feel the lactic coming into their thighs. Oh, that's me. And all I'm thinking about is my technique. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm halfway through this and I'm happy with my stroke rate so far. So let's get our minds ready for the 26 strokes per minute now. We're going off in six, five, four, three, two, one, and that's it. There you go, found it, 26. Straight in, straight out.
Here we go. Good work, guys. Good to see everybody there. So we're at 26. Here we go. Right, so you had that time to yourself there. So, what we should be thinking here is just keeping everything very simple, is to find that rhythm now. So staying where you are. Okay, 15 seconds before we drop back down to 24. And on the one that change, I want that big drive, and then you set into 22. Three, two, one, big drive, and drop down. Wow, that worked for me. At 24, again now, back to techniques. Make a note of where you are at the moment, your pace, with doing what. And the idea here is to sustain it. Here we go, straight in, straight out. On the toes, drive back, heels down. I can feel the lactic in my, my thighs at the moment. But I'm just concentrating on the technique and breathing. Okay, 30 seconds to go nearly now. So nice big long strides. Nice big long ones. Drive it all the way back. Coming down, three, two, one, and down. Well done, guys. Yeah. How's everybody feeling? Thumbs up? Oh, I can see some crouching over there. That's how I feel. <laughs> well done. Okay, so this one is gonna be, for me, uh, it's one that I should find a lot easier because what I've just done, we've just done 22, 24, 26, 24. And when I got to the, like the third iteration, I got to the, from 24, 22, 24 to 26, when I got to 26, I kept on jumping down to 25 but because that was because I was thinking talking but when I dropped down to 24 and I had that big stroke on the change it felt good I had the long drive gave me a lot more time to breathe when on the way back in and I was trying to ensure that my feet literally I was trying to come up very little as possible and get the whole drive of my foot on the foot plate so what we're going to do for this one what I want people to do is it is 22 it is then 24 it is then 26 and a 28 
it's that's like open up the tank, but we don't open up the tank for the two minutes. So what I want us to do is do exactly, you looked at your time, you looked at your wattage, you looked at how many meters you've covered. And the idea is to get the same amount of meters as you had before. So I'll make some calls without closing your eyes. Three, two, one, and here we go. Off at a 22. This is the last set, guys. Here we go. And I'm not looking at my time or anything. I'm just looking at my strokes per minute and the watts at the moment and how I feel comfortable. These, this two minutes, the last minute and a half of this one, this first block, I just want you to literally listen to the machine, find that rhythm, and just keep it there. There you go, nice and quiet. It's going through our minds at the moment. Okay, so now 30 seconds before the next change. I want you to start thinking about just, just having a little bit more of a push. Right, let's get ready for going up to 20, 24. Just move it slightly quicker now. I'm around about 23 now and 24. Right, so I'll give you about another five strokes to find that rhythm so you should feel nice and comfortable on it. So what I want you to do now is, because we've got everything in the right place at the right time, the right rhythm, close your eyes and just listen to your own machine. It's just about maintaining rhythm here at the moment. That's it. Make sure those elbows go right back. Keep the back straight. Now, I'm under, I'm wondering to myself, is everything looking good? little tip box is going through my mind. We've only done four minutes, there's only four minutes of work left now. I'm ready to jump up to 20, 26. If you can't hit the 26, no problem to stand at 24. Let's go. So I'm actually just keep concentrating on my breathing at the moment. Well done. Three and a half minutes left.
Hold on, guys. Big, big drives in now. Right. Now, I know how much I've got left inside me, so I'm going to use it correctly. Getting the breathe, my breathing correct. Okay. So, for the last two minutes, we're going to go up to 28. But if you want to build into it, what I mean by that is that you can go up to stay on 26 and then finish on a 28. So those who want to follow me, last two minutes. That's ready. Go. 28. So I'm bang on. Put it on, guys. So just think about driving off that foot plate now. Okay, last minute. We're all in the same boat. And we've got a boat beside us. They're neck and neck with us. We're nearly there, guys. That's all you got to do. Technique now. Okay, last 30 seconds. Let's drive it home. Long drive. Last six, five, four, three, two, one. Down. Just keep rolling. Let's bring the breath back down. So what did I take away from that? First things first, I should get up earlier. Definitely, definitely warm up properly. Get my stretches in. Because the first, the first four minutes was my warm up, and I'm trying not to overstretch, overcompensate in the back, so I didn't want no pulled muscles. I thought about my breathing, how that's very important, and the stroke rates is very. Everybody's different, but the main focus is is, is to push out that air, that unwanted air, and. The other thing was at the at the catch, I don't want to be hanging there. Absolutely not. I want to be coming in, coming out. The same speed coming in, even faster coming out if you can. So that means on the re-entry, I've got more time to breathe. And the last bit that I was thinking about, so I get to this position, is I was doing this, which we all do, we've all been through there, but as I've been being coached, I'm actually coming up a bit more now and I'm coming into here. So I'm spending more and more of my effort as I get, as I'm coming through the stroke, I'm getting to this part, I can't go no further, my back comes into play. And as my back comes in, 
the arms are just basically guiding it into my chest and I'm making trying to get these elbows back at the same time. What happens if I if I'm actually overcompensating and going back to here, guess what? I'm spending more energy to get away those arms, to come back up and to get back into my attack position there at the catch. So really, if you're tall, you're at an advantage because if you have a one meter 90, you're literally near, near the front of the bar. So the idea really is, is to concentrate on that technique, get it into here, keep it up straight. And I actually kind of look at my monitor. Actually, I'm looking above my monitor and making sure that I'm actually looking just above the monitor. So when I'm coming in, I'm not doing that. I'm not looking down to the chain because I'm going to lose, I'm definitely going to lose some energy and power there. And I don't really want to waste my energy. So I've kind of head just comes up slightly with my with my chin, looking towards the screen. And as I hit that here, I'm literally, as I hit it, I'm coming straight back. And because I'm coming straight back, it's the legs that's actually doing the work. And all I'm doing, my my fingers, I'm not gripping the bar like this. My fingers are literally just hanging on. I'm hanging in, I get back to here, and I will have a tendency to, just to because as we, those that go in the boat, if you're, if you're odd or even, you actually do have a tendency to pull it straight in. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep it straight in and then straight out, rock over, and I'm ready for the next one. So that's what I took away from that session. It was a good session. I like the eight minutes. Um, but well done. I think it's a good little session just before the, uh, the mince pies, which I don't get over here. Very hard to come by. Um, but it's a good little session just for the, lose a few kilos that we're going to try to probably keep off during the Christmas period.